Hi, I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is Get Organized. Today I'm going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi password. Now the first thing you're going to need is your IP address. If you don't know this, you can do a quick search online for whatever is the brand of your router and default IP. You're going to get a short string of numbers and that's what you're going to put in the URL bar. You're going to hit a login box, which I'm not showing here. If you don't know the login, try admin with the password admin. That's usually the default. And then you'll see a screen something like this. Your dashboard might not look like mine, but look for something along the lines of wireless security in the tabs. Now for the level of security that I'm using, I'm going to type my password into this box that says WPA shared key. And I'm going to come up with a password that uses both capital and lowercase letters and numbers and is something that I can say so that when people ask me for the password, it's really easy for me to give it to them. The article that comes with this video has a lot more tips about how to create a strong and secure password. The annoying thing when you make changes to your router is that you'll often lose the connection while you're working, so you'll have to reconnect using your new settings. My router is a little bit older, so it doesn't have any guest network features, but if you have that, definitely use it. It's just a more secure way to give your guests access to the internet without access to your machine. The very last thing I'm going to do is save this information in my password manager so I never lose it. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.